Hey everybody, Ranjan here bringing yet another stock of commentary. We'll continue the first match of the Lost Saga MSL Quarter Finals. That is what we are right now and uh, we shall continue those commentaries here. This is going to be the fourth set. Um, Savior vs. Uh, Zero, a Zerg vs. Zerg matchup, and Zero has the advantage here, 2 to 1, and Savior is in trouble, yes, yes. Savior is indeed <laughs> in trouble here, um, 2-1 two, two under, he played, you know, first game he just got outplayed, then second game he played non-standard, and completely took Zero off guard, but then the second game again became a standard game where Zero, uh, zero won Savior, mostly due to one big kind of mistake by Savior where he just ran his Mutalisk forces into a huge mound of Scourge, and in the end I believe that cost him the game. We're going to see whether Savior manages to pull something out of his hat here. Four, three, two, one, go. His magical bonjour hat. Every bonjour has a hat. Righto, it's going to be Neo Harmony. And at 5 o'clock in blue, it's going to be Savior. It's interesting. Every single game so far, Savior has always been 5 o'clock. That is so interesting. Savior has been 5 o'clock in every single one. <laughs> We're going to see whether that's the lucky or bad for him. So Zero is going to be at 7 o'clock in red. Both players playing Zerg, of course. So going to come down to building orders here. Uh, not cross positions, so not going to be as um, long distance of travel. Going to see whether Savior tries to do something surprising again. Um, when he went for more of a slightly more all-in build, he definitely took Zero by surprise. And I think Zero... Might have been a little bit unsure in the set th in the third game. He, he took it, but at one at, I think at uh, a point in the game, Savior had an advantage because Zero wasn't quite sure whether he should uh, build more defenses or just skip the defense because he wasn't quite sure what Savior was going to pull. But I think now in this game, uh, with Zero being over, he's just going to play standard. He's not going to go anything funky. He's going to get himself a nine pull. Um, Early aggressive build, we're gonna see. <laughs> oh god, if Savior goes 12, oh my god, if Savior goes 12 hatch, this will be disastrous. Savior so far has gone 12 hatch in every single game, and Savior being Savior, I don't really see him altering his build at all. He's building two more drones. Oh man, I think Savior is gonna go 12 hatch. Yeah, oh man, Savior's gonna go 12 hatch. Uh, for his sake, I hope he's going 12 pull. You never know. Early gas, also from Zero. So Zero with a 9 pull and early gas. And Savior is gonna plant down a half tree first. So Zero's gonna get speedlings right out of the bat, and that's it. Build order fail by Savior, and this will probably be the match. Savior going for a 12 hatch again, and this is gonna cost him. This is gonna be it for him. He scouted wrong, and there's no idea what's coming. The uh, gas has been mined. Now there's gonna be Zergas on the way, and there's gonna be speedling, and Zero's gonna rush right in there, gonna do a lot of damage. Savior does not have his spawning pool even close to being up yet. He's gonna not have any defenses going whatsoever. He's getting his gas and spawning point. His spawning pool is so late. Those Zerglings are gonna be inside of his base, killing everything before he's even ready to respawn. His fir the first two Zerglings of Zero are not ready. We're gonna see whether they run into the correct direction. That's the only really hope that Savior has at this point is that hoping that Zero doesn't scout him right away and hopefully that delays him a little bit. Uh, Zero is sending Zergs in many different locations, so he's not sure what Saber is. He's, he knows he's either in the top right or on the lower right. He's not quite sure, but now with that Overlord there, he's probably going to know. He probably mostly he saw where that Overlord was coming from, and yeah, now he's going to turn those Zergs around. He's going to spot that 12 Hatcher. He's going to run right inside. He's going to start off by attacking that. Now Saber knows that there's trouble coming his way. Not, no, not quite sure how he's going to react to this. There's six Zergs that are just all the way ready for his base, and Zero's actually going to start off by attacking this Hatcher. going to take this Hatchery down rather than go inside. Uh, he also has his own lair coming up, so he's going to have Spire fairly soon. Savior now trying to make some Zorgies. They're not going to be in time to save this hatchery. Savior pulling drones, but they're all far, 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 far too late. That hatchery is indeed going to go down, and Savior's going to take such a huge economic disadvantage. That's 300 minerals gone, lost, into the wind. I don't see how Savior's going to come back from this. Spire already coming up now from... From... <laughs> Zero, Savior doesn't have his fire on the way, Nilkos is not mining any more gas, because he had to 
his needs to get a bunch of his own minerals up. And Savior knows he's in such huge trouble. I'm not quite sure I was going to get back from this. Trying to reestablish his hatchery. I think that's a lost cause at this point. He's definitely not going to be able to come back at this. Those 300 mineral loss. Zero would have to make a substantial mistake. A very, very large mistake to lose this match here. Savior being stubborn, going for the early 12 hatch. If he had gone for a 12 pool, it would have been safe. It would have been fine. would have been able to counter zero quite well, but no. Sticking to his normal 12 hatch, and now he's going to lose. So, from what I see, Savior is not going to be able to move on to the round of eight, despite the hopes of many. Despite the many, many hopes of many. Zero now, meanwhile, just turtling up in his own base, waiting for his own Mulesk. And he knows as soon as he has that Mulesk force out there, Savior's going to be toast. He's also putting out a creep colony just in case because he it does know that Savior might decide to just build up a bunch of Zerglings and go for run by. And that's exactly what Savior actually might be doing. He's trying to build a just have some Zerglings there down that ramp. He's going to try to reinforce those. He's going to see whether he tries to go and break through. He's going to try to get some Zerglings through there. Second colony, meanwhile, being put down by Zerglings. He knows he has to be careful. He just has to turtle up. just has to wait with his forces inside. Savior has tried to break through, tried to damage a little bit, but lost a Zergling, a Zergling in the process, apparently. So, uh, an evolution chamber and a creep colony inside of the main come down from Saber. So, he knows he's going to have to defend against this Mulus. Mulus is going to be coming his way. Saber's not going to be able to do any sort of damage. Zero is completely protected. Could be turtled up. He doesn't need to make even any more Zergans because even if Saber somehow manages to break through, which he's not going to be able to because he's being forced to use minerals on these creep colonies to get some spore colonies going. And he's just not gonna be able to mine anything. He doesn't even have his lair coming up, and those first moves are now. It's gonna force Saber to instantly run his Zerglings back. And now we're gonna see Zero push in with Mulesk as well as Zerglings. Gonna probably go for Jupiter attack, and that's gonna be the end of it. Saber is just so far behind. There's no way he's gonna come back from this. Saber would have to do something absolutely spectacular, and I'm just not seeing that happening here. He just doesn't have the force to do that. That Spore Colony is gonna take a few shots. Those moves gonna force him back. And all those poor colonies are really going to do are going to. The only thing they're going to do is delay zero. Meanwhile, Saber trying to do, go for a flank. He's trying. He sent a contingent of zerglings <laughs> back into zero's base. Going to try to break through. Trying to do some sort of damage. There's a Splunkin colony there though. And meanwhile, now zero just trying to go for a break. He has those mules along with those zerglings. Saber meanwhile ha has done a counterattack. Now sending a lot of zerglings trying to do some sort of damage. But zero on the opposite side killing that. <laughs> Killing that extractor and Saber trying to run in to defend and he's losing some of his own force. He, I believe he actually has a sunk in that force. You all, Sa Saber has done some, a little bit of economic damage, has prevented some mining, has killed some drones, but overall that sunken was there in perfect location to prevent anything. Zero still keeping his workings alive, running around, doing a lot of damage, trying to take down those poor colonies, and as soon as those poor colonies go down, it's going to be Saber trying to run some Zergans by trying to do some sort of damage, those poor colonies trying to prevent those Mutalisks from taking things out, but I think soon enough Zero is going to have enough Mutalisks, even right now maybe, Zero is actually going to just focus on that poor colony with those Zergans as well, the poor colony is going to go down, that's going to be it, Saber's not going to lose, and there's no way back here for Saber. That hatchery is going to go down, he's trying to push in some Zergans, he's going to try to go for a counterattack again, Zero, but Zero is just focusing with his Mutalisks, he knows that, that Sunken is probably enough, Probably has enough. If he, if he spawns just a few more Zerglings inside of his main, it's going to be enough to defend him completely. Saber so adding another creep colony, just not getting his lair. And there's no freaking way he's going to be able to do this at all. There's no chance whatsoever for Saber to come back from this game. And that's going to be it. Zero has a couple of Zerglings inside. Somebody came into my room, and I'm trying to ignore those. Uh, Zerglings coming inside, trying to do some sort of damage. But Saber all all, just no chance. Second sport colony coming up, but there's no way he's gonna. He's blinking his eyes. He knows this is it. He probably can't even believe it. He just shouldn't have been stubborn. If he had gone for a slightly more safer build, I'm not quite sure why he persisted a 12 hatch in every single map. He lost with 12 hatches on both two-player maps, and just a 12 hatch is just overall so so risky in ZVZ, even on a four-player map. If the other player scouts you early. Which Zero did. As soon as Zergen's ready, he scouted, and that's gonna be it. Saber trying to plant something around Zero. Meanwhile, now getting uh, a his own hatchery. Now finally, and Saber's just stuck inside of his base with nothing but a couple of creep colonies and a second colony. And now just getting his fire up. This is so horrible for Saber. I'm not really sure what he's trying to do here. Zero not gonna move in with those Mutalisk force. He probably has enough Mutalisk to take out those. Yeah, he's gonna just micro against these four colonies. He's gonna be able to take those down. There are two spore colonies, but are just not gonna be enough. Got some Zergans on the ground from Saber trying to prevent the ground force moving in. Zero has lost some Mutalisk while doing this, but overall he's going to be able to take out all these four colonies. Saber trying to plant down another creep colony, but this is just not going to be enough. The second four colony is going to go down, that's going to be it. Saber should already GG at this point. He's just waiting. To, <laughs> yeah, guy obviously can't believe that he's lost this. He's trying, trying, trying to come to terms, and it's very sad really to see just such a humongous. A build or a fail got him into the round of eight, honestly. I think. Um, 
up magic. If he had played more standard, should have been able to beat Saber. Honestly, Saber just trying to counterattack with some Zergans, trying to take out the high tree opposite side, but that's just not going to be enough. Zero's going to completely ransack everything that's there. And these Zergans of Sabers are also going to get taken down. There's just no, no doing. He's almost managed to do some damage, but nope. GG has come from Saber, so Sa Zero moves on to the semi-finals. Good job by him, just <laughs> playing an overall very good ZVZ in both the round of 16 and the round of 8. And now he's going to play in the quarterfinals, where he's going to have a slightly bigger challenge than he's had so far. He's, not, he's most likely not going to be a ZVZ, and he's going to have a quite a large challenge at Savior. Not quite managing to get to his goal of the uh, semifinals, but hopefully, uh, I hope that he doesn't get discouraged. I hope he keeps practicing. I hope he keeps trying to get himself into the feeling that he had back in the day, because there is next time, mind you. You can't destroy everybody right away. So, good game. Wrenching out.